Boulder, Colorado is a nature lover's playground. With over 31,000 acres of parkland, 200 miles of hiking and cycling trails, and world-class bouldering and rock climbing recreational areas, there are plenty of outdoor activities for practically anyone to get lost in. While Boulder was once known for being a hotbed of the counterculture movement of the late 60s and 70s, it's come a long way since the days of flower power and hippie ideals. If you're planning on taking a vacation anytime soon to colorful Colorado, it's an absolute must to visit Boulder for at least a few days. So keep watching to see what we think are some of the best things to do and see in Boulder, Colorado. Hike Boulder's World Famous Trails if you were to pay Boulder a visit without venturing out into nature, you'd be doing yourself a tremendous disservice. The first thing on anyone's itinerary when arriving in Boulder is making plans to go out and explore the Flatirons, the iconic mountain range that serves as the backdrop of this unique town. One of the best places to do that is at Chautauqua, a breathtakingly beautiful local park that also has a concert auditorium, historic dining hall, and plenty of quaint rental cottages. Hit up the trails, play a lively game of disc golf, or simply enjoy the picture-worthy mountain vistas while having a bite to eat on the dining hall deck. But Chautauqua isn't the only spot to enjoy the great outdoors in the greater Boulder region. If you're looking to give your hiking boots a run for their money, you'll be pleased to know there are more than 180 scenic trails in the Boulder area. One of the highest rated trails is the Royal Arch Trail, which can be found just off Baseline Road. This incredible hike features mind-blowing views and gives hikers a chance to get up close and personal with rock formations, beautiful wildflowers, and Colorado's diverse animal life. The trail is 3.1 miles long and rated difficult. The best time of year to visit is anywhere between March and October, and if you're traveling with any of your four-legged companions, you're in luck because dogs are permitted to use this trail as well. Several other trails in the area that deserve a mention include the Mount Sanitas and Sanitas Valley Loop trails, the first and second Flatirons Loop, and the Green Mountain West Trail. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more of the best of Boulder. Make a pit stop at Pearl Street Mall. After a long day working up a sweat and giving those calves a workout, you'll likely have worked up quite an appetite. Plus, you might be hankering for an ice-cold adult beverage. The Pearl Street Mall is the heart of Boulder's dining, shopping, and bar scene. It's a lively four-block pedestrian thoroughfare that runs directly through the center of downtown and is filled with food carts, talented street performers, and art created by local talent. Pearl Street tops our list of Boulder's top spots for people watching, but it's also our favorite spot in town to enjoy Enjoy a delicious meal. Pearl Street Pub and the West End Tavern are a couple of our top spots to grab a drink, and if you're stricken with a craving for some Tex-Mex, a stop at Illegal Pete's will give you a chance to scarf down a burrito the size of your head. Explore the University of Colorado's gorgeous campus. There's plenty to see and do at CU Boulder, regardless of whether you're a student or a curious visitor. Its expansive campus is replete with scenic landscaping, and a leisurely stroll around its grounds will provide ample opportunities to snap a few photographs. We highly recommend checking out the Fisk Planetarium, which happens to be one of the biggest planetariums in the country. There you'll find many compelling exhibits. They play host to a number of different events throughout the year, including live theater productions, musical performances, and workshops interactive films, and laser light shows. They also boast having one of the most powerful telescopes in the region, and the planetarium staff are more than willing to show you some fascinating out-of-this-world sights such as planets and constellations. The Mary Rippon Outdoor Theater, which can be found within CU's Hellam's Arts and Sciences building, is a great space to watch a live performance. It was built in 1939, and since then, it's regularly presented to the public a wide array of plays and also hosts its annual Shakespeare Shakespearean festival every summer. This is also a great place to have a picnic while enjoying the theater's architecture. The CU Heritage Center will give you a rundown of the school's rich history. It can be found on the third floor of the old main building. There, you'll also be treated to a collection of lunar rocks on display collected by the Apollo 15 astronauts, in addition to memorabilia related to one of the school's most famous alums, Glenn Miller. Take a Boulder Brewery Tour 
beer connoisseurs consider Boulder to be a veritable mecca of their favorite beverage. One of the must-dos when visiting Boulder, if you're a beer lover, is taking part in a brewery tour. Each brewery is unique and offers a distinct range of delicious menu options. Avery Brewery, for example, whose motto is Hops Freaks Unite, allows its visitors to walk high up on a catwalk where you can witness the production process before tasting a sampling of their wares. Avery is one of the premier craft breweries in the area, and their extensive selection of beers is sure to leave you thirsty for more. Another brewery worth adding to your tour is Upslope. With more than 20 beers on draft, featuring a rotating selection of seasonal flavors, a large patio that gives guests an opportunity to gaze out at the scenic Boulder countryside, and several food trucks parked out front, this brewery is the perfect place to spend a romantic evening out with your significant other or simply a little solo time to get your beer on. Discover the wonders of nature at the Museum of Natural History. This massive brick building houses a museum which has over 4 million artifacts on display. Its collection covers everything from algae to art to bats and fossils. They have a huge anthropology wing devoted to pottery, artwork, and textiles, as well as the state's most extensive collection of bee specimens. The museum is also a great place to take part in a workshop or listen to a lecture by a guest speaker. The amount of information you can take in here is mind-blowing. It's perfect for adults and children alike, and they also offer self-guided tours and educational discovery kits, allowing you to get the most out of your visit. Go Tubing on Boulder Creek one of the most thrilling things you can do is taking a tube ride down the rapids of Boulder Creek. It's the perfect way to spend a hot summer afternoon as these somewhat turbulent waters offer an invigorating adrenaline rush as you slip and slide down the bubbling creek. The best time of year to go tubing is anywhere between May to August, since those are the months when the waters are flowing the quickest. We recommend checking out the Whitewater Tube Company as they both provide tube rentals but also offer a shuttle service to help adventurers get back to their vehicles after hurtling down the rapids. Hit up the slopes. While any time of year is ideal to visit Boulder, the winter is especially nice for lovers of snow sports like skiing and snowboarding. National Geographic even named Boulder the top winter town in the world a few years back. Eldora Mountain Ski Resort, which can be found just 20 miles outside town, is one of our top picks. It has six-person chairlifts, a chill vibe, and is extremely family-friendly. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or expert skier or snowboarder either, as there are a wide variety of slopes fit for different levels. And of course, they also offer rental equipment and have a couple of different dining options to choose from. The Lookout Cafe is located at the top of the Corona Lift, while a decent-sized cafeteria can be found at the Base Lodge. There, you can also find a bar up stairs, as well as a few retail shops for souvenirs, equipment, and accessories. Warm your bones at the Boulder Duchambe Tea House. What better way to spend a chilly fall or frigid winter morning or afternoon than by enjoying a warm cup of tea? The Boulder Duchambe Tea House is no ordinary tea house. It was built entirely by hand in Duchambe, Tajikistan, and given to the city of Boulder as a gift, as a way of celebrating the two cities' status as sister cities. Sip on a cup of finely crafted and curated tea, or enjoy a hot meal while admiring the authentic Persian decor. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Boulder? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.